Welcome to the 30th anniversary show of the Buck and Chuck Show. Merry Christmas from the Candham Building, the gorgeous 38th floor. And Chuck's here too. Chuck is in a cleansing mode this week now that you guys bring it up. So if I have to get up and pee in the middle of this, please forgive me. My able body partner over here can uh, fill in for me. But uh, welcome. Uh, here, i got to tell you this right away, you're listening to Feeling All Right with Buck and Chuck at PortClintonRadio.com, PuttinBayRadio.com. They know that. They're already tuned in. OakHarborRadio.com. There could be someone out there hacking. And uh, we're on Facebook. You sure that's not due to a hairball? Feeling, feeling All Right <laughs> with Buck and Chuck. And uh, we have just finished putting up a very special holiday greeting for y'all, and we'd love to have you see it. We'd love to have you comment on it, even if it's bad. But nonetheless, here we go, and uh, we're going to start right off. we got a big day today. we got uh, somewhere between two dozen and 50 guests coming in today. And uh, we're going to start right off with a Christmas song, as I promised you last week. And uh, the ones we're trying to play are uh, probably ones you probably heard the song before, but... Uh, not by this particular artist. However, this first song is one I doubt that you've heard, uh, and it's called, it's by the Christmas Jug Band from uh, Marin County, California, and it's comprised of Country Joe McDonald of Country Joe and the Fish fame, Dan Hicks of Dan Hicks and his Hot Licks fame. Oh, yeah, I remember them. And one Norton Buffalo. Oh, but yeah. Any, anyway, it's all acoustic. It's called Santa lost a hoe, and I hope you enjoy it. Folks, not, it, wasn't that an enlightening Christmas song? Ho, ho, ho. only. <laughs> no, <laughs> Santa lost a hoe. Yeah. He used to do Heidi Ho, now he just does Heidi. Go figure. <laughs> so what else is new? What have you been up to? Well, I want to uh, take this opportunity to uh, thank you personally Whoa. for... Uh, rescuing me from a severe bout of cabin fever this past Sunday. I couldn't get my car out of the garage and you were kind enough to come pick me up and haul me down to the Breeders' Cup for a little uh, Daryl Gatlin and Andrea. And uh, I really appreciate that. It was awfully kind of you. In the dead of the snowstorm. In the dead of the snowstorm. and uh, You should have seen him, folks. I don't think the armrest on my car have, has ever been held that tightly as he gripped everything he could find in the car. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me. You were scaring the crap out of me. Anyway, I do appreciate that. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm going to lighten up on you any, but I do appreciate you doing it. Where did you get my bill? Well, it doesn't, <laughs> well, okay, just keep sending them. All right, let's play another song. What do you think? Uh, we had, we actually did, and this is uh, astounding to me and to Buck, have a request for yes, this we week's did. show uh, from uh, actually the man that won our very first contest, Cold Beer Marty. Yeah, he's down there in uh, St. Pete Beach, just about a half a mile from that pink hotel, the Don Cesar, and he uh, emailed in a uh, request. Well, and uh, actually he stumped me on this one, and I'm going to tell you that's hard to do, but uh, this is one I'd never heard. Um, it's called New York's a Lonely Town, and oddly enough, it's by the Trade Winds, and oddly enough, even more, they sound like the Beach Boys. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't get it, but uh, it's a pretty good song. Uh, I want to know how Marty even found it, let alone uh, you finding it. Well, I know for a fact he doesn't know how to work a radio. So, <laughs> anyway, here you go, New York's a Lonely Town by the trade winds. Marty, please enjoy. Uh, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it, Marty. Hope you're warmer than I am. Of course, I know you're warmer than I am. This, Not uh, a whole lot. It's still cold down there. Yeah, well, this uh, canned ham building, uh, I've discovered it has a few drafts, and uh, particularly in uh, the opulent studios here at WPC. I think they're hanging meat. Well, <laughs> uh, we'd like to welcome to the show our uh, latest assist production assistant, Alberto the Magnificent. He's uh, shooting all our video and uh, he's a geek, but uh, I don't know how to say geek in uh, Spanish, but uh, El Geek, I guess. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. But uh, welcome, Alberto. 
happy to have you with us. And what would you like to do? You want to uh, talk a little bit about schedule? You know, we have guests coming in today. Well, we do. And, uh, and we have guests lined up for next week. We are that well planned. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, if you believe that, I got some tropical property just down the street. <laughs> So you want to jump into the schedule? Why don't you go ahead and uh, run through, through the schedule? Yeah, it shouldn't yeah. take too long. Everybody get your uh, legal pads out and here we go. Uh, and just in case this show gets up on Wednesday night, or last night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll see you yesterday. <laughs> yes, I'll see you yesterday. Uh, we'll be uh, at the Catawba Inn with Short Vincent is going to be out there at around uh, 4.30 or 5 uh, on Wednesday. So I hope you caught that. I really had a good time at that show, by uh, the way. I bet you did. Did I take you home? Since today's Thursday. <laughs> I had a great time. Did I take you home? Thursday, uh, December 16th, Island Idol uh, has this long-running engagement down at Nick's Roadhouse at 7.30. And Friday, December 17th, starts the big weekend. And... Uh, We've got Brittany Riley at the Paper Moon Winery at 6. Bob Lewitsky is at Mattis Winery at 8 o'clock. Lance Horwettel, I gotta meet him with a name like that, is at Hermes or Hermes Winery over in Sandusky. Santa lost the Horweedle. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the only thing you can say there. <laughs> Dan Cruzen is at Mona Me at 8.30. Oh, and how I look forward to that. Saturday, December 18th, it just keeps getting better. Dave Lester's at uh, Paper Moon Vineyards over in Vermi, Million, at 4 o'clock. Corey Pavlich is at Quarry Hill Winery at 6. The Groove Monsters re make a triumphant return to the Catawba Inn at 7 o'clock. And folks, great show. They do a super job. Stop out and see that at the Catawba Inn. And they, they would, uh, if you offered to buy them a drink, they would take it. Uh, hey, offer to buy me a drink and I'd take it. And Brad Walk will be at d, d Smith Winery at 8. Strookley and Cole will be at Mattis Winery at 8. Cruisin' uh, at Mona Mee at 8.30. Breeders Cup. Paul Franks will be at the Hermes Winery at 8.30. And Key Motion at Sawmill at 8.30. And wrapping the big weekend up will be Epitome, also known as Epitome, Ronnie Howard's little uh, short group at the uh, Mona Mee at 2 o'clock on Sunday, December 19th. And that's uh, your magnanimous schedule. Thanks for all your hard work, Buck. <clears throat> I checked out that website you sent me, by the way, after the, what was it called, after the after gig. After the gig. And uh, a lot of it looked familiar. Well, there's some, uh, it's a Cleveland version of your entertainment yeah. list, and, uh, but some of the uh, acts overlap, so to speak. But uh, it's interesting. If you're in the Cleveland area, check it out. It uh, gives a pretty thorough listing of what's going on. That it does. So Find some, fam some uh, familiar names. All right, we're going to play another song for you now. And this actually goes back to the year when my friend Buck was just two years out of college. It's uh, from 1944. Uh, it's called We'll Meet Again. It's by Vera Lynn. And it was... Uh, Loretta Lynn? Vera, Vera Lynn, L-Y-N-N. -N. And it was a song used in the movie Dr. Strangelove. In fact, it was the song uh, playing when uh, Slim Pickens was riding the rocket ship, the nuclear bomb, uh, through the sky. But it's a great song. Uh, I think you'll recognize it. We'll meet again by Vera Lynn. <laughs> 